uh, when you're looking at this, are we looking at a consumer that's stable or growing or weaker? What do you see? Uh, I think it's a pursuit of the uh, Goldilocks scenario, which is that we are growing, but uh, uh, not too fast, not too, uh, not too slow. It's uh, actually pretty supportive for, for financial markets, I believe, in particular as this kind of number is uh, calling for very uh, moderate and uh, gradual normalization of uh, monetary policy. Well, also, I think that how broad-based uh, we're looking at here, Lou, like retail sales uh, increased in nine out of the 13 major categories. So when we get the really negative headlines from like a JCPenney or a Macy's, do we need to just keep reading that as it's all about Amazon and it's not about the malls rather than a commentary on what's happening with the consumer? Look, I think department stores have become less and less, less representative of what's going on overall over time. And so I do think you have to look beyond that. Just the other thing I would note today is core CPI was also uh, below expectations. It came in at only one-tenth. And that's one of the things that sort of jumps out at me as well. It's that uh, we obviously had a weak month the prior month. Uh, we were expecting a little bit more of a rebound. I think the market was expecting a little bit more of a rebound. I don't think this is enough to sort of change the trajectory of the Fed, but it does suggest somewhat less, somewhat less momentum in core inflation, which is probably the single most important thing that the Fed is looking for on the inflation front right now. The retail sales numbers are really very noisy when you compare the upward revisions to where we've come in, the noise you're seeing from autos, from gas, but the headline inflation numbers, and you've picked out core, and let's just take the headline number 0.2%. The supportive factors for, for the uptick inflation that we have seen that have come from the commodity market, they weren't going to be there in the back end of this year anyway. They're really not going to be there mm -hmm. if commodities continue to roll over. Give me an idea of what the inflation picture looks like in about six months' time. So, look, the labor markets are still very tight. So we've got an unemployment rate that's 4.4%. Um, employment growth is still pretty strong. I think that's going to gradually push up inflation. I think that's just kind of unavoidable. Now, it's going to go up and down month to month. It's not going to be a straight line, and it's not going to be a huge increase. But I think you have to assume that inflation on a core basis is going to be higher six months from now. As you say, there's going to be less contribution from the commodity side, but ultimately we're dealing with an economy that is arguably at or beyond full employment. And I think you have to assume that those price pressures are gradually going to build.